Hi, I'm Trevor Kendrick with the Rock Counseling Group, and I wanted to kind of talk a little bit today and give some tips for anyone who's like me right now, trying to work from home and also be my children's teacher. It is incredibly challenging, and so I thought maybe a few tips might be helpful. Um, the first tip I have is know your child. If your child is a strong learner, they can probably do their work more independently. Go ahead and allow that. Uh, but if you have not um, someone who's not as strong of a learner, uh, that probably means you're going to need to spend more time one on one with that child. There's also uh, kind of the issue that I'm having, which is my children are learning math a whole different way than I did. And so sometimes I struggle even understanding what they're doing. So something that might be helpful is kind of getting together maybe with some other parents, uh, classmates of your child, uh, parents who may be stronger in a subject than you are. Um, and maybe you guys sort of switch off. That parent does like a Zoom class with um, your child, their child, maybe a few others, um, and kind of teaches that subject. And you can do the same on a subject that you feel confident in. It allows you a break when you're kind of off for, for that subject that day, but it also gives your child who may not be as strong of a learner an opportunity to kind of be together on Zoom with some of their classmates, which can really help the learning process. Um, the other thing, I think this is a great time for kind of helping your child with what I call passion project. Maybe there's something that your child loves to do that isn't in a traditional school setting. So especially for like grade schoolers or middle schoolers, um, they don't usually have like home economics or things like that. So why not, you know, do a cooking class, do a kind of light building class, uh, sewing, find your child's passion and incorporate that into their, their school day. It's a great way to break up the routine and really help build on life skills. Uh, the kind of third tip I have is really try to develop a set time and a couple locations for your child's learning. So that way they have to kind of two places that they can go between so they don't get just totally bored sitting at the kitchen table or sitting at a desk um, and a time because that way they know when I sit here at this time, I know I'm doing my work for the day. And don't worry about being overly structured. I think flexibility is key right now for all of us. Um, and maybe go ahead and have like a basket or a drawer where they can put all of their school stuff uh, in. That way that's a concrete kind of visual cue to them that I'm free, I'm free for the day, my learning's over. And it helps you with some of the organization so that you spend less time finding this sheet, finding that work, and you have a little more time to do your work. Um, the other thing, the final thing, and probably the most important, is have patience with yourself and forgive. Do not worry if you miss a Zoom class um, for your child or you didn't get all the worksheets done that you know, either the school said you needed to or you decided you had to uh, because you had a big meeting you had to prepare for. That's okay. We're all in the same boat and we're only doing the best we can. And that's wonderful. That's all we can do. Uh, you also have to maintain some level of structure for your work schedule. So sometimes it may be okay that that take precedent over making sure your child makes it to their one o'clock Zoom meeting. Um, be patient, forgive, and just do the best you can.